<laughs> right, we'll try to do some work and stay at Vita today. Now, I remember a mechanic guy came around and he uh, plugged in his di diagnostic uh, computer and... Now, the code that came up was a bit of a weird one, but regardless, he... It turns out it wasn't actually because it had a decal, which is strange, because I thought it would have been on a decal, it would have triggered the uh, lambda sensor and things like that, but no, that wasn't the case. So regardless, he cleared the codes and now no lights have come back since and the car's been running and things like that and all's good there so now that's two things fixed we don't have an engine management light as of now we don't have that glow plug light that was flashing the dash that's gone as well so that's something else has been fixed also there's some, there was some things i did off camera because they're so small things i just didn't really bother um, i took off the air box and took out the air filter and inspected it and honestly guys it was absolutely disgusting i mean honestly i don't think it had been replaced in god knows how long but regardless, this car will be getting a full service at some point anyway. I'm just going to concentrate on bits and bobs now. So that's where we're at the moment, so I think for today I'm just going to try and adjust the handbrake cable now. I remember, you might remember me mentioning that in a previous video. There's a lot of slack in the handbrake, so I think I'm going to... I find out where to adjust it, so when I do that today I'm going to adjust the handbrake cable and see if that makes any difference. Then also, I'm going to crawl my ass into the boot, take off the rear panel and see if we can fix the boot lock as well. Hopefully it's a simple fix, hopefully. If not, I'll buy a new boot lock mechanism thing on Monday, I believe, getting some parts for the uh, Suit Seat. Now, I would say the modifications, but they're definitely upgrades, so yes, we're buying two upgrades for the Seat on, I think it's Monday. I'm actually really, really excited to get them on. Um, it'll make a big difference to the car. I'd call it almost a facelift that we get. I would get a different front bumper for it and rear lights, so I'm really excited to show you that as well. It's going to really transform the look of the car, considering at the moment it looks a bit standard and things like that. I think for now, We'll crack on with what, what we can do at the moment because obviously we don't, really, we don't we don't have any new parts at the moment because until I can actually afford to get brakes and things like that and then up until the weather gets a little bit better as well. So let's crack on. Right everyone, I was gonna do this off camera, but I thought I had to show you this because it looks absolutely terrible. So let me show you how bad it is underneath this air filter. It's really disgusting. So let me show you. That will definitely replace that is absolutely black i mean listen i don't know if the camera can pick up but i mean yeah that is really bad the plan was to do this off camera but i thought well because because how bad the condition is i thought i can't not include it in a video so so just let's try this so let's crack on I cannot wait to clean this absolute shit of interior, it's absolutely disgusting. But because in one video I'm doing a dedicated detailing video to this car, because it's so dirty things, I'll just spend a whole day cleaning it and getting it really, really clean. Now that video I cannot wait for, but uh, most of my power washer's broken, the hose I used to wash down the cars, the nozzle's broken as well, so I need to either get another power washer or get another nozzle so I can wash things down and stuff like that, so anyway. Let's try to adjust this handbrake cable. Actually, before I start, I just want to say a big massive thank you to absolutely all you amazing people right, for subscribing to my channel. Recently, my channel has just taken an absolute hike in subscribers and views and likes and all that stuff, and it's all thanks to you guys, so thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Right, now, I must say, Abitha, the handbrake cable adjuster is located underneath this little kind of plastic panel here, uh, where the cup holder goes, so if you take it off, it just kind of clips off. It's really... It's not held on by screws and that, it just pops off. And just in there... You can see a little kind of, I'm not sure you can see it very well on camera, but a wee 10 millimeter kind of like uh, nut thing. Gas bottom there, tighten it up, things like that, and then I'll take the uh, slack out of the handbrake cable. So I'm going to crack on with that and we'll see if it makes any difference. That's the handbrake uh, fixed. Cables will need to replace at some point because the adjustment nut is nearly at the end of the thread. So obviously they are quite stretched, but regardless, I've still managed to adjust it and it's still. That's perfect now. There's no slack now at all, it's nice and tight. So, job done. Right, let's go change these gold plugs. Now, I let them soak in WD-40 and things like that, just so hopefully that kind of aids the, you know, them coming out and things like that. But hopefully it shouldn't be too difficult. Hopefully none of them snap anyway. But regardless, let's crack on. Right, now the glow plug harness should just pop off. It's like already removed it, obviously, but yeah, let's just pull on it and it pops off. So that's not too difficult. So, we'll go to one side and there is a glow plug. So, let's try to take them out one at a time. 
Right, now here are the tools you'll need. Um, we've got uh, a 10 millimeter deep socket, which is obviously what you need to obviously remove the uh, glow plugs. Now here are the glow plugs. Now, these are just cheap ones, about 11 pounds off eBay, so hopefully they'll do the trick. Right, now that's all the glow plugs out. You can kind of see that obviously these are quite old. I mean, I love that these are the original glow plugs because there's a Volkswagen um, kind of brand on it. So it looks like these are the original, original glow plugs. But regardless, we'll put the new ones in. This is the new ones. Like I said, they are just cheap ones, so hopefully they'll do the job. But only time will tell, so let's get them in. Now we tip, obviously, when you put these back in, just put a little bit of copper piece around the thread. So if they need replaced again in the future, they won't be seized, they won't snap or anything like that. So, because obviously these are prone to snapping if they've been there for a long, long time. So, if you are replacing your uh, glow plugs, just put a little bit of copper grease around the threads. Nothing too much, and they'll stop them from seizing in the future if they need to replace. So, that being said, let's get these in. Right, now let's see if it starts. Now It seems to be starting a little bit better, so oh, well, I'm happy with that. Anyway, on to the next job. Right, now the next job is to uh, have a look at this boot lock. Now, the crawl my arse in the back seats and take off the, the kind of panel that goes on the boot lid. And we'll see what's wrong there. Hopefully it's just like a maybe little clip that's popped off. That'll save a lot of hassle, just like the handbrake cable. All it needed was adjusted. Hopefully this is just a simple fix as well. So, let's rock on. Right, that's in the back. I'll tell you, this car's absolutely disgusting. I cannot wait to like detail it and violate the interior. It's mean. So you post it on a future video, I'll probably just strip the interior down completely and just give it an absolute overhaul. So expect to see it in a future video, just obviously a full detailing video. That I love detailing. Uh, I'm cracking with this. The panel's just back there. It's held on by a little torque, so we'll take it off and see what like it is in behind. So let's rock on. Right, the torques that are used to hold on this panel, there's one located just there. I think there was one in there, but it's obviously been removed. And then there's another one at the other side. So I'll whip them out and then we'll, we'll take it from there. Right, so I decided just to play it smart and just open the boot just to make it easier to work on. So, right, let's get this panel off. Right, now you've got this panel off, you can see what's going on better. Now, I can't see anything obvious. I mean, I don't know what this is. I just found this. It looks like someone's just done something with it. I don't know what that's for or anything at all. So if anyone can let me know what this is, uh, let me know in the comment section below. I can't see anything obviously wrong with this uh, boot lock. Uh, nothing's obviously broken, um, but when I try and pull the handle from the other side, it just doesn't it disengage the lock, which is here, obviously. I'm not sure why. Um, I'll have a wee delve into this off camera, and then I'll uh, show you what the crack is. So, I'll be back in a minute. <sighs> You'll never, ever, ever guess what an absolute muppet I have made off myself. Well, you know how I said the boot was broken and you know that it wouldn't open well let me show you this yep what a stupid idiot I am turns out I just didn't know how to work it sometimes I really do have dumb blonde moments whatever the hell you want to call them honestly what a stupid <laughs> oh my god come on. <laughs> Anyway, that's one less thing to worry about, I guess. I mean, at least that's not a problem at all. Um, I think what I was doing wrong is the um, when you put the key into the boot, you have to turn it a certain way, and that kind of unlocks it or, dis or disengages the lock. I thought it was broken, but it turns out it's not. It's just me. So anyway, that's what that's one less problem, even though it wasn't a problem in the first place. So anyway, on to the next job. Right. So basically, the whole time, right, it was just locked. I can't believe it. So basically, right. So so that's it locked, basically. As you see, it doesn't open. So you want to put the key. I honestly can't believe that. What an idiot. Oh my god. Well, never mind, it was content. Now, yeah, I'm going to get this panel back on and then we'll see what else we can do. Something else really funny, right? That I thought I'd show you about this car. Check this out. Right, you've got the cap holder here, right? Which obviously doesn't work, right? I mean, no matter what you do, um, it doesn't open because normally when you press that, it pops out. But if you do this, So basically, the rear heated window button opens up the uh, cup holder. Who'd have thought that? <laughs> what a funny car. Like, oh, another thing, right, which I never knew about. This car has a six speed gearbox now. This is the first car I've ever owned that actually has a six speed box, so I'm quite happy with that. I mean, that's pretty cool. I mean, 
I've never had a car with a six-speed gearbox before, so that'll really help fuel economy on like long journeys and things like that. So quite happy with that. I'm just off the phone to my uh, local, kind of like a local parts place, and I've, I've already priced up a full service kit for this car. So I'll be yeah, fuel filter, oil filter, air, carbon filter, the whole lot. So expect to see it in a future video as well, giving it a full service because this car really needs it. I know we didn't get a lot done today, but I mean it's still progress. So some progress is better than nothing. So I'm kind of happy with today's work, even though we didn't get a lot done. But regardless. As always, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like, comment and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.